Hi, my name is Michael McVeigh. I'm one of the account managers here at C Vision Technologies. And today I'm going to show you how to take your scanned image documents and convert it into a fully text searchable PDF using our Maestro Recognition Server solution. So as you can see here, I've uh, opened up our user interface and I've prepared a couple sample documents I have in my folder here. I have a JPEG, a TIFF, and a PDF. First thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is revert to factory defaults. This way we can see where we uh, make the changes. So the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is drag and drop our entire folder right below. As soon as I do so, it allows me to define my input and output folder, which I've decided to keep in the same location, which resides right on my desktop. Now that we have everything in place, we're just going to go through some quick settings. First thing that I want to enable is cleaning and despeckling. That'll allow us to clean up the little black dots that you sometimes see from a poor quality scan. We're going to go ahead and rasterize each PDF, which will allow us to rebuild the PDF from the ground up for the cleanest output. If you ever have a need to crop a certain region, it allows you to define that location here. We're going to go ahead and automatically rotate pages to their readable orientation. For PDF output, I'm going to go ahead and choose the latest and greatest, which is 1.7. I'm going to go ahead and include full page OCR, which actually allows us to make the document fully text searchable. I've decided to run in accurate mode. A lot of clients have found that fast and accurate both does an adequate job. The only time you ever really run in super accurate is if you have some sort of color text running on a color background. We do give you the ability to produce an auxiliary data file. If you have to produce uh, another file other than a PDF, you can produce a Microsoft Word file, HTML, plain text. If you have to communicate with an FTP site, you can do so here. If you have to add some additional info, such as an author, title, subject, or keyword, you can make that adjustment here. Additional metadata, such as a key name or a value text. If you have to add a header, footer, stamp, or watermark, we give the ability to do so here. And finally, any passwords that are protected, you can go ahead and provide those passwords here. But for the most part, we have all the settings in place for this particular job, so I'll go ahead and click Run Job. <coughs> if you notice, the start time is located right at the top of the screen at 10.40.20. And this process will only take a short amount of time. This will happen very quickly. And then after we finish up, we're going to go ahead and go right to our desktop and see how the documents compare with one another. So now that the job has finished, I'll go ahead and go right into my folder, right to my desktop. And the first thing that I want to point out is there's a little bit of a reduction in size and file size. If I go ahead and pull up the PDF, I'm going to go ahead and split screen these now. So now that they're located side by side, you can see the document on the left hand side is a little bit slanted. It runs from left to right. If I try to search for any words or phrases, it won't allow me to do so. But you can see on the right, the document is now fully text searchable. If I want to search for the word experiment, I'll, I'll simply go right to the top of my search tab, type in experiment, and it will bring me right throughout the document showing me exactly where the word is located. I'm going to go ahead and pull up another example. Go ahead and pull up a TIFF. I'm going to split screen these one more time so we can see how they compare with one another. On the left hand side is my original document, which is not text searchable. On the right hand side, I now have a fully text searchable PDF. And again, if I want to search for the word office, simply type in office and it will bring me right throughout the document showing me exactly where the word is located. And lastly, I'd like to bring up a color image do have the original on the left and the output on the right. The document on the left is not text searchable. The document on the right hand side is now text searchable. Please note that there is no image degradation whatsoever, maintains full image integrity. And if I want to search for the word child, simply type in child, click enter, and it will bring me right throughout the document. And having this ability allows me to search for documents uh, much quicker makes the document much, uh, much easier for indexing purposes. And that brings us to the end of today's demonstration. Thank you so much for attending.